So in this video, I'll show you how to calculate the capacitance, parasitic capacitance, um, the capacitance between primary and secondary, which is called interwinding capacitance or mutual capacitance. The other capacitance is called self capacitance or intra winding capacitance. Uh, that is between primary and primary winding, or it can be between secondary and secondary winding. That is called self capacitance or intra winding capacitance. So these are invisible capacitances. Um, so in order to calculate those uh, capacitances, we would have to use uh, the solution type, um, which is uh, electrostatic. We were using uh, for transformers and the inductors magnetic. For capacitance, you would have to use um, electrostatic. So the electrostatic solver, it basically solves the static electric field without current flowing in conductors. Conductors are in electrostatic equilibrium. The conductors are basically considered perfect such that there is no electric field inside them. So for calculating the capacitance, we'll go with this one. Um, I have the same project that I had from 2D transient. The procedure that I show for 2D transient, uh, sorry, 2D electrostatic, it will apply for 3D as well. So I'll just change this to electrostatic. And basically I'll right click over here, just try to clear all the messages. Um, you don't need the mesh so I'll just delete the mesh so this is what you have um, the other thing um, just go to help click on Maxwell PDFs in Maxwell help we would have to go to so basically the PDF appears and I will have to look at the table of contents have to go to Maxwell 2D Maxwell 2D yeah I was basically looking for so go to number 28 which is Maxwell 2D technical notes under that there should be electrostatic field simulation and click on capacitance and capacitance in terms of uh, charges and voltages what this basically tells is if you have three conductors three copper wires the c10 c20 and c30 are the self capacitances with respect to ground c13 c23 and c12 is like a mutual capacitance so just read this section it's very simple and uh, there will be negative uh, so q is just the charge q equal to cv that's the basic capacitance formula for charge so whenever you see negative that basically means one side of the conductor has certain voltage and the other side of the conductor the second conductor has zero volts basically whatever capacitances that Maxwell calculates you can just ignore the negative sign we don't need to worry about it so just read these two pages it's pretty clear um, so the negative C12 what does negative capacitance really mean for that this is the section which says for instance in column one of the examples the capacitance matrix c12 is equal to minus c12 this is equal to the charge induced on conductor 2 when one volt is applied to conductor 1 and zero volts is applied to conductor 2 so all the capacitances uh, that maxwell computes few of them will be positive few of them will be negative it doesn't matter you can just ignore the negative sign just read these two pages um, this would be helpful yeah capacitance in terms of charges and voltages